Hey everyone, how's it going? Joey Kasimi here with IncomePress.com and in this super quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own Universal Studios logo. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do this on this website called iVipit.com. It's a really cool website that allows you to create these intros or in these logos in minutes rather than in hours like with other softwares like Blender and so forth. Now this software here or this website is completely web based which means that you can create your intros and your logos anywhere you want and on any computer that you want. You don't have to download any type of software, you don't have to download a whole bunch of files or anything like that. You just open this up on any computer, any browser, log in and start creating your logos. Now we're going to go ahead and start doing this, uh, the, the Universal Studios logo so you can see how simple and easy it is. Now I'm right here in the main website of ivp.com and as you can see there is a, there is a ton of different types of logos uh, and intros and even outros that you could play around with in any way that you want. For this video I'm going to be showing you how to you how to create the Universal Studios which is this one right here. And you can actually see a preview of how it will look like. So once you choose your own logos and stuff, we're going to go ahead and click on this create button. It's going to take you to this page here. Uh, this is just like a disclaimer type thing. Go ahead and read it. And once you're done reading it, just go ahead and click on this I agree button here. Then it's going to take you to the actual page where you're going to be doing the actual editing. And it's, as you can see here, it's just a few lines of text that you're going to have to edit to make it your own. And this image here is the preview of the actual Universal Studios. So to ch start editing and changing this uh, text area here where it says text here, just go ahead and click on this first box and start typing in whatever you want. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and put income press, which is my brand uh, of my blog. Okay, and then the second text down here, this is actually for this little bitty text right down here. And this is just for branding purposes for, for your company or a website or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and put my blog and my domain there so, you know, people could see and have a place to go ahead and, and check my stuff out. So I'm going to go ahead and put their incomepress.com. Okay, down here where it says use this text, this is just if you want it on or off. You actually have the option to show it if you want. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on on because I want people to, to know where they could go and see more of my stuff, right? And, and now you're pretty much ready to start rendering. But before you do, you want to make sure that you're happy with it and then it's going to look good. So to do this, just right here on the left hand side, click on this make preview button and what it's going to do is actually render like a little preview of how it's going to look like with your actual text that you typed in here. Now this will take just a, like 30 seconds to a minute. It's going to get, render like three images for you and it's just so you can actually see how it looks like. And once it's done rendering a preview, just go ahead and click on any one of the images. A little uh, thing will pop up here showing you the actual image of how it looks like. So to see the rest of them, just go ahead and click on this next. And you can actually see the, the little world starts turning and the, the name right there in the background here. Click on next and this is the final preview. So if you're happy with it, you know, and you, you like it, so just go ahead and click on close and start rendering. If not, just go ahead and edit it again. Maybe you misspelled something or, or whatever. And then just go ahead and click on preview again to, to make sure that everything's good. Once you're happy with uh, the, the results, just go ahead and scroll down here and, and choose any one of these options to start rendering. Now this intro here has a free option for you. Now the only problem with this is that it's going to render it with a brand, with the iVipit brand. So if you don't mind that too much, you could go ahead and do that. However, if you just want it without a brand and you just want it for your, for your stuff, then you're going to have to buy some points and these points will buy uh, different resolutions and, and different like HD quality and so forth. So if you're making smaller videos and you could get away with this 480, if you're making some really top quality stuff, you know, you may want to go with like a 1280 by 70, 720 or, or even the, the biggest one, 1920 by 1080. Okay. For this purpose, I'm just going to go ahead and do the small one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on here. It's going to cost me 200 uh, CPS points. 
I have 300 left, so let's go ahead and click on that one. It's gonna take you to this page here, and this is actually the rendering process. And what it's gonna show you here is the green bar is gonna start going up, and the percentage is gonna start going up the closer it is uh, to getting finished. Now this process is fairly quick. It'll just take a few minutes. It will not take hours and hours and hours like with a software like with Blender. And I know that's a big issue with that one, one software. Sometimes it takes like a 24 to 48 hours and then the end result just sucks. So with this one, it just takes a few minutes and you'll have a, a near perfect HD quality type of intro. So we'll just go ahead and pause the video right now and come back as soon as it's done. All right, so we're back here. It's done rendering. So let's just go ahead and click on play to see how it turned out, all right? Now, that right there looks really really nice I love this tool anyways folks there you have it that's how you create your very own Universal Studios logo just go to this website start having a ton of fun with it and create your own logos now once you're per you're done here and it's done rendering you're pretty much ready to download it and do whatever you want with it so just go ahead here and click on this download button here this little window will pop up here and it'll give you an option on whether to uh, to download it as an mp4 or an flv format or you could do, just do both so just go ahead and click on this uh click uh, to save button here and then just save it to your desktop and, and that's it that's pretty much it that's how you create your very own universal studios logo folks this is joey kissimmee with another super quick tutorial peace i love you for free out